Hello, in this video I will be showing how to use shared preferences in Flutter. I will be showing a demo of the app that we are going to build. Here we will save whatever that is typed in the text field to preferences and load it back. So let's add a text field to the UI with, uh, let's declare a controller first to get the text from the text field and supply it as a controller property of the text field and I am going to add an input decoration for uh, to supply a hint text. I am going to say enter name. Now I am going to add an outline button which will have a text save name and on press. I am going to leave it blank for now and next I am going to add another text which will show the loaded data. So we will be declaring that variable data. So I am going to set the font size to 20. Let us declare the variable data. I am going to set it to empty for now. Okay. And let us copy the outline button and create another button and say load name. Alright. So there is our UI with the text field. Okay. Now this is a plugin that we are going to use. I will be providing the link in the description. So copy the dependencies and go to your pubspec.yaml file that is in the root of your project and just under the dependencies you can paste it. Flutter should get the packages for you or you can run Flutter packages get and we are going to the main UI. Let us import the shared preferences and we are going to import the services package also so that we can use the async functions. I am going to overwrite the init state and leave it blank for now. Now I am going to write the save data function. Here we will get the shared preferences and call call by getting await shared preferences dot get instance and call preferences dot set string. Let us declare a variable to for the key. So I am going to give it as name key with a value underscore key underscore name. Copy that and paste it there and the value will be from the text field. So that will be controller dot text. So this will be returning a future boolean value since it is an asynchronous function. Get string will return the future boolean. So now we will write the function to load the data from the preferences. So that is also an asynchronous function. So that will return, we want the string right. So it will be a future string. So preferences dot get string will return the uh, save data with the name key. Now we will write a function to update the variable. Let us uh, call the load data with the then callback that will return the value since it is an asynchronous function and set the state of the data variable to the new value. All right, copy that and pass it to the on press and load name will get the call set data. Let us run the app and see hello. So that is loaded, that is working. Now what if we want to initialize the shared preferences with some data. So as per the documentation we have a bunch of code to write. If you want to want to initialize uh, your shared preferences key value when you load the app. Okay, let us go to the init state and write that methods. That will be constant with the method channel that will take a pa parameter that will be the plugins dot flutter dot io slash shared preferences dot set uh, method sorry mock method call handler that will uh, take the parameter method call. So that is an asynchronous function. All right, close that. Now we are going to check if the method call is uh, equal to get all. So this is uh, mentioned in the shared preferences package. That is why we are writing it like that. So it should return a default value. We can give the initial value here. So it should start with flutter dot with our key. So if it is not starting with flutter dot, 
it will be there will be some error it will be showing throwing some error so i am setting it to no name saved all right and i am going to call uh, i forgot to return the null so if it is not we will return null and going to call the set data method once that is received once that is ready so you see that first it was showing no name saved and we are saving different values now so that is working so when we updated also it worked so that's all about trade preferences in flutter uh, i guess you understood everything about shared preferences uh, if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe and leave your valuable comments below hit the bell icon for notifications and thanks for watching